Alright, we're back. Um, Jakar, understandably, is feeling, well, kind of freaked out right now. All he knows is there was a storm. Um, he was coming, you know, up from Anvil, way down that direction. <laughs> um, like, way down that direction, you know, up to Solitude, let's say. I don't know if there's a route that goes that way, but it makes the most sense to me. Um, and, uh, there was a storm out here in the Sea of Ghosts, and the ship sunk, and, well, he washed up here. He just doesn't like the fact that he was the only one who survived, yet he's the one that came here to redeem himself from a dark past. I mean, he doesn't like that he spent his whole adolescence stealing things around town and that it cost him his father's job, and he feels like if anyone should have not made it out of that wreck alive, it should be him. But he's not, you know, he doesn't deserve to be the sole survivor in a situation like that. And I think this is a pretty opportune time to show you how I plan to, uh, convey uh, Jakar's thoughts on things and um, and uh, how he talks to people. So, here we go. <sighs> Gods, why me? Why must I be the only one to survive that? Well, I don't know if there are other survivors, but they didn't wash up here. All I know is I'm safe. There's a path here perhaps leading to civilization over that way. But the others are either not as lucky or dead. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, I don't understand why you chose me to live through that, not the others. So, yeah, that's how he's going. You know, I'm going to try to mimic the Khajiit accent that most um, Khajiit um, talk in in this game to sort of convey Jakar's thoughts on things. So, looks like... Looks like I... Uh, looks like my only lead here is to follow this path. See where it leads. Paths normally lead to civilization of some kind, yes? There's this strange ringing plant. Oh, hello, birdie. I shall not hurt you, I just want to admire you. Ah, Kinnereth, your creatures are, are beautiful. Beautiful indeed. But again, the strange ringing plant. Hmm. Something tells me this could be useful for alchemy. I've always had an interest in alchemy. Being able to use just plants and other things to create useful potions. We can do all sorts of things. It's, it's intriguing to me. I'd like to learn alchemy someday. What's this? Looks like a lighthouse. Was it lit? I couldn't. I can't tell. If it wasn't lit, I need to talk to the. Attendant here, his laziness may have cost all those people's lives. No, it's lit. Why did it happen then, goddammit? Maybe they were too far away to see this in the storm. Yeah, I mustn't dwell on it now. All I know is I need to get to civilization. Also, you um, may realize that Jakar doesn't talk about himself in third person. That's simply because he was raised by, you know, an imperial man, and, um, he doesn't really know much about Khajiit culture, and also I assume the reason Khajiit talk about themselves in third person is because it's sort of in their culture and sort of part of their language, and even when they speak, I assume English is equivalent to the imperial language, um, here in Tamriel. Um, when they speak that, that's sort of a, a convention of being a Khajiit, but see, he doesn't know how to be a Khajiit. He knows how to live in Cyrodiil, not elsewhere. He he doesn't really know much about the <laughs> culture of his people. Uh, 
ship. I wonder if there's anyone on board that could tell me where to... Wait, that looks promising. It looks like a city, all the way up there. But uh, I wonder if I could ask these people what that is. It might be solitude. Um, greetings. Hello? Why are you brandishing a weapon, sir? Hello? Um... What are you- oh! Uh, um... Are you going to attack me with those weapons? Uh, I have weapons too, you know. Uh... I- I wish no trouble. Uh, fine, you cannot answer and brandish weapons at me all you like. God, some friendly people here. Yeah, Jakar's not gonna take any chances with people like this. <sighs> also, if you hear me taking sips of stuff, um, I'm a Pepsi addict. <laughs> so, you'll probably hear that quite a lot during this Let's Play and any others that I decide to do later on. Yes, that looks quite a lot like the images of solitude I have seen conveyed in conversations, etc. People have told me much about this city and its beauty. Also, Jakar is, um, Jakar's always liked the act of picking flowers. It's sort of a um, it's, it's helping him keep his mind off of everything that just happened, <laughs> right now, at least. These are strange flowers. Uh, they have this a sickly smell. They might be poisonous, but I'm still going to pick them. I hope touching them does not transfer whatever poison they may have. But, um, perhaps if I have a good amount of herbs in my pockets, I could ask someone to teach me some basic alchemy because it would probably be very useful and it just intrigues me how just simple mushrooms and flowers can be combined to make something that heals one or that heals one's wounds or restores one's stamina it's, it's intriguing seem to have lanterns lighting the roads. That is good. They did not have that in Cyrodiil. Yes, it looks like I'm getting closer and closer to civilization. Another ship. I hope it is not commonplace to threaten strangers with weapons upon walking onto their ship, because I would like to know where I am. Hmm. A small gathering of people. Hello, madam. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. Interesting. Why would you tell that to a random stranger? You are a guardsman, correct? Where are we? They say our quick stone cloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shouted him apart. Oh, for who now? And that sounds completely impossible. Skyrim is a strange place. Oh, but that view. Solitude is beautiful. That must be solitude. Wow. Also, that sounds like an awesome screenshot. <laughs> Not sounds, looks. Actually, I should probably... There we go. Alright. Mm, I probably shouldn't get on a trade ship with no passengers. I would probably be apprehended. Hello, sir. Looking to hire a boat? Uh, no, but if I ever am, I'll keep you in mind, I suppose. Good day. Good day to you as well. 
Oh, there are some friendly people here at least. Do I even dare board this ship as well? Uh, hello? No one on deck. Nah, not worth it. It's probably a crime to infiltrate ships. This looks like Solitude's docks, if Solitude is that close, so... Everything's in order. That is good to hear, Gatsby. Hello, little boy. Talk to Gaiman if you want a horse. Or Catla if you're looking for work. Gaiman? Hi, Catla? They say... You say they work on the farm up there? Alright, thank you. All right then. Looking for work. I am looking for work. Uh, if I could earn a little bit of extra gold, it might be worth it to do a bit of work on this farm. Let's see. How much coin do I have now? 41 pieces. That is not much. Not much at all. Spent most of gold I boarded the ship with on food and such essentials. <sighs> Seems everything is expensive in Skyrim and on ships. <laughs> yes, this looks like the farm that the boy was talking about. And I am looking for a woman named Catla. Perhaps that is her. Hello, are you a, are you Catla? We could always use help picking crops, if you need a few extra coins. Alright, I do need a few extra coins. Um, you say your crops are around back here? Alright. I guess I could do a bit of farm labor. I need the coin, I definitely need the coin. Um, I'm going to uh, wait for a couple of hours after this, because it just doesn't make sense that he'd be able to pick crops this fast. <laughs> so. Yeah, um, yeah, so this is a bit unrealistic, but Jakar needs all the money he's going to get. Let's just say that everything's ready, you know, and he's just going to pick all the crops and sell them all. Because, <laughs> you know, it's not much gold anyway with everything. Um, hello, I'm doing work for Alright, we'll say that, um, uh, what, just make sure there aren't any more crops or things. Doesn't really look like it, right. We'll say that that took Jakar around three hours to pick all that. Alright, um, I am done picking the right crops. You could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. Yes, um, here is the wheat. Honest pay for honest work. Fifteen gold for that, alright. Uh, potatoes. Honest pay for honest work. Alright, twelve, alright. Um, and a couple of leeks. Honest pay for honest work. Until next time. Eighteen, alright. Well, it isn't much, but it's probably enough to afford food and drink for a day or two or three. I don't really know how expensive things are here in Solitude, but considering it's the capital city, probably quite expensive. The Imperial City. When uh, my father and I traveled to it every once in a while, everything was higher priced there. Hello, guardsman. You're just in time to say hello to Rogbeer. Who is this Rogbeer you speak of? He's the sorry bastard who's going to be executed. A gate guard who let Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he killed the High King. Um. So they are executing a man for letting someone go through a gate? That sounds very harsh, unless this Ulfric is a very, very wanted man, but. It still does not seem justified to me. <laughs> Greetings, guardsmen. May I enter the city? You're just in time to say hello to Rugbeer. Yeah, that's exactly what the other guardsmen said. I can enter the city, thank you. Mm -hmm.
so, um, Jakar gets a civilization. He's comfortable in cities. I mean, he lived in Anvil his whole life, so... Even though he's a Khajiit, he's more comfortable in cities than anywhere else, which is pretty uh, <laughs> ironic. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Traitor! You should tell her that you betrayed this her. This must be the execution. Best she know now. I spoke about. They're all hard. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Liar. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. He did. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim. And all If it was fair combat, then this is not just a fight as far as I can see. If he is not lying, then he does not deserve what is coming to him. Gods. Skyrim is beautiful, but it seems On to have day, a very, very dark side. I go to Solomon God. Gods, I can't watch this. <laughs> Gods. Uh. Alright. Take your mind off of it, Jakar. This must be an inn. Hello, madam. Hello, I'm Gizli. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Um, you say you have a brother named Erica? Who is he? Yes, my older brother. And the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. But really, since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. You don't seem to have a good attitude. Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the bards. They'll fake it for you, if nothing else. If you're looking for truth instead, see Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. Well then... We'll speak again later. I don't think we will. God's people like that. How can you see no good in the world? Yeah, there's a lot of bad, but there's good as well. The finest fish here. She said see Hot someone game. named Nost. Perhaps he's a beggar around here. Do you know you can afford a septum or two? Hello, are, are you Noster? Spare some gold for a veteran? You are Noster. So, a veteran, you say? Were you really in the army? What? You see a man falling on hard times, and you think he's been like that forever? No, no. I was there. I fought in the Great War. Um. I was on the field at Anvil. Guardsmen, why? When are you... I was struck down, they left um, me. Guardsmen, why you are you? You understand? Pushing? They left me for dead. I didn't leave them. I I did not mean to imply. I am sorry. Um, here. Uh, you seem you seem a good sort, and just trying to get by here. Rachel will give you a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. You're welcome. Um, so, what's your story? I was the finest scout in the Legion once. Tracked down all the places in the wilds that were causing people trouble. Hmm. Lost my helmet in one of the old caves. My pretty, pretty helmet. Life just got worse after that. Kept losing things. So many things. Um, this is a long shot, but... If I could find that helmet for you, would it make you happy? Oh, you could? I sure would love to have it again. Could show you some of my old scouting tricks. Alright, sounds like a fair trade. Um, thank you. I do I miss highly that doubt it. Where did where did he say this cave was? And that is the right one, right? Um, yep, Shadow Green. Shadow Green Cavern. Now, it isn't too far from Solitude, but I don't know if I'd like to venture back out there yet. I'd like to find some way to make coin here in the city, but I don't know if I'm going to find one. Well, in 
is not as good a place to get the bearings on a city as any. You know you can afford them. In Cyrodiil, they were usually the best places to do so. Uh, be right back.